All right, let's do one last emotional ride with our favorite Misfits of the Galaxy. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Will and welcome back to another trailer reaction. I am taking a look at the new trailer for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. This just dropped during the Super Bowl, which is currently happening right now. I have no dog in either fight of whoever's competing for the Super Bowl, but I am curious of all the movie trailers that are dropping. This, of course, is the third and final outing for this iteration of the Guardians of the Galaxy um, that is directed by James Gunn, who has already moved over to DC by the time that this trailer has dropped. This is going to be our last ride with this iteration of the Guardians. Who will live? Who will die? We do not know yet. Uh, I'm going to take a wild stab in the dark and say that Drax is going to bite the dust since Dave Bautista kind of spoiled that this is his last iteration of Drax, but you know, that's fine. Just take that stinger away, I guess. <laughs> but who knows? We might lose Rocket as well. Oh my god, everybody could die. Wouldn't that be crazy if every single Guardian died and no one was left after this? Just like scorched earth. I've already done a trailer reaction for this about two months ago, give or take. I think back in December when they dropped the first official trailer for it. So I'm not going to sit here with a preamble about what the story is probably going to be about. We're just going to check out the trailer and I'll give you my thoughts afterward because I'm trying to do a bunch of these and I'm hoping to keep them very short if possible. But I'm going to check out the trailer. I've got it queued up right now and I'll just give you my overall thoughts afterward. Before I watch the trailer and you watch me watching the trailer, please make sure that you watch the official trailer that is linked in the description below just to make sure everybody is nice and happy. And if this happens to be your first time checking out one of my videos, hi, my name is Will and I do geeky stuff on the internet. I do reviews and reactions, discussion of gaming, drinking. Just try to have a lot of fun. Hope you have fun as well checking out this video. And if you happen to like it and you like to hear my opinion from myself, who is just a, a geeky, hairy bear, subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it. It would help this channel out immensely if you do that as well. Uh, but yeah, let me check it out and then I'll just give you my thoughts afterwards. So, be right back. Well, you're not going anywhere. You know, you know. That's how trailer reactions work. You don't go places. You sit here and you watch me while I watch this. Hope you like it. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm Star Lord. I formed the Guardians. Met a girl, fell in love. This is a lot more upbeat than the last one. But then she came back. She came back a total dick. <laughs> oh, please. He left out some important information, but that is the gist of it. Okay. A uh, high evolutionary. Is to create the perfect society. Mm. He's the one who created a rocket. Want to make things perfect. He just hated things the way they are. Ooh. I want you all to know that I am grateful to fight beside my friends. Incinerate them. There's Adam Warlock. Yeah. We were always searching for a family until we found each other. Are you ready for one last ride? We'll all fly away together. The forever and beautiful sky. Whoever it was that you were in love with, it sounds more like her. Her? Do not bring me into this. <laughs> oh, God. Knock it off! What? Never noticed how black your eyes were. They were replaced by my father as a method of torture. He he picked a pretty set. Oh god. <laughs> Alright. 
That trailer definitely had a completely different vibe than the first trailer. Um, so yeah, that's our new trailer for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Definitely is much more upbeat. Even though it has a sense of finality to it, it's still a very upbeat trailer, very synonymous with the whole <laughs> the whole vibe that the Guardians of the Galaxy have given us. Throughout their entire time in the MCU, it's got a lot to deal with. It's got to deal with uh, Quill still having feelings for Gamora, even though this isn't the same Gamora, and she just really doesn't want anything to do with him. And we're dealing a lot with Rocket's backstory since it is tied to the main villain of the movie, the High Evolutionary, who was the one who created Rocket, and apparently whatever else he is planning on doing. So Rocket definitely is looking to put a stop to him once and for all, which could equally cost him his life. Again, we know that Dave Bautista is not continuing past Guardians Volume 3, and it's very likely that if anyone's going to go out, it's going to be him. They allude to a few characters' demises throughout this and the previous trailer as well, so I guess they're trying to keep people on their toes, but I wouldn't be surprised if, if one, or if not two people, will no longer be along the ride with the Guardians going forward. It'll just be interesting to see what the team looks like after this. We got a lot more of Adam Warlock in this. We see him going up against Drax and Groot because of, I'm assuming, the revenge that, I think they were called the Sovereign, who were kind of primary... In Guardians Volume 2, not necessarily primary antagonist, but they definitely created Adam Warlock. And they clearly haven't let go of that grudge from, like, at this point, eight years ago. Because you count the years of the blip, plus the time from Guardians 2 up until Infinity War. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. I am still very hyped for this movie. Yeah, it's... It's... Hasn't done anything to super spoil anything yet, and knowing that this is a sense of finality for this version of the Guardians of the Galaxy is really exciting, and it's going to be hopefully an emotionally satisfying conclusion to their story and give us an idea of where we can expect maybe some of these characters to pop up next and other other like space based movies or whatever. So. It's definitely something where I don't think there won't be a version of the Guardians going forward, but it definitely won't be this version of this family going forward. And that's the biggest draw to me of this movie. Very excited for it. I probably won't watch anything else for it until this comes out on May 5th. And I will definitely be checking this out in theaters. So that's just my thoughts on the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 new trailer. Uh, let me know any thoughts that you have on the trailer in the comments down below. As always, thank you so much for checking out this and all my videos. I really do appreciate it. Again, if you're new to the channel and this is the first video you, you actually checked out for me, thanks for checking it out. And if you happen to like it, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it if you do. You can follow me on a lot of different social media platforms that are listed at the end of this video. Those are the easiest ways to know whenever I post a new video on this channel. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Check out a bunch of other videos that I have on this channel right now. And as as always until next time i will catch you later hey thanks for watching this video if you did like this video why not give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends you can subscribe to the channel by clicking on my gorgeous little face right over there you can follow me on all the various social media platforms right below and last but certainly not least if you've got a few extra minutes why not check out one of the lovely videos floating right over here later